Sebastian M. Abu Abu and I am Park Michu and, and this is the Remnant Bulletin Show. This show is a journalism class project of the grade 4, grade 5, grade 6. And these are our news for the first semester of school year 2015 to 2016. In campus news, we will take a glance on the different clubs of Remnant International College Elementary Department. RIC Elementary Department launched its First Outreach Project. Sapa, the otherwise known as Scout Officer of the Day, was launched for the first time in RIC Elementary Department. And reiteration of the playground rules for the safety of the pupils. For our sport news, RIC Elementary joined in the basketball, chess, and arnis tournament during the district athletic meet. RIC Elementary champion during the district athletic meet in the field of Arnis. In an effort to provide a holistic learning to its pupils, RIC Elementary Department have open clubs where pupils can develop their talents. These are the clubs. Number one, GSP or Girl Scout of the Philippines and BSP or Boy Scout of the Philippines. This aims to teach pupils about outdoor life and simple survival techniques. Journalism Club aims to teach pupils the rudiments of newspapers and news broadcasting making. Number 3. Guitar Club This aims to teach interested pupils how to play music with a guitar. In sport, RIC has open artists, basketball, and MMA or Miss Martial Arts Club. This club can help pupils develop their potential on the said sport. On the other news, Bookworm Project was launched by R RIC Elementary Department. Here is Vibe Cedric for the report. 525 books were turned over to Mr. John Irving Tisim of Kalala Elementary School. As a part of Remnant International College outreach program called the Bookworm Project on November 20, 2015. The Bookworm Project, which was conceptualized by Mr. Clyde B. Sapa, the elementary department head teacher, is an assistance to Mr. Kiss Inc.'s project of building a heritage library in the rural community of Kalala. Here's our interview with him with regards to this project. I am here now with Sir Clyde to interview him about the Bookworm Project last November. So hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you, sir? I'm good. Yes. Sir, what is the objective of the Bookworm Project? The objective of the Bookworm Project that we launched last November is to provide assistance or to help our, uh, our uh, your uh, um, Filipino um, friends in a very, very far place from here, for whom they are lacking books and they don't have enough materials for their needs. So what we did is we collected books to give to them. At the same time, the second objective of this uh, project is to have a linkage. Linkage means a connection. Remnant International College will have a connection to other schools and that connection can be used to create trainings for the teacher and at the same time if we have a, if we need a trainings from other school we can always call for them for that so that's the other objective the third objective is um during my year as a head teacher um my first year is my objective is to create a, an extra curriculars for you guys and my second year my objective is to create an academic club for you. So that's why we created we created the math in it and the reader skill. And the third year of my head teaching and it's my last also is that we are going to my objective is to create a connection or a linkage of the school, a network of the school to other schools. That's the reason or that's the objective of this project. Uh, sir, why did you choose a very far school for this project? Um, uh, I don't have any reason for that one, except uh, when I was looking at any school that needed books, 
uh, I, I saw um, I saw the Facebook of Tolano Elementary School and they were holding pictures, they say we needed books. And that's the idea, and that's the reason why I chose it. Even if it's very, very far from us, in a way, they still need the book, that's why I, I chose this one. There are many kinds of projects. Why did you choose a book project? Um, when I was looking at our library, there were some books that is obsolete. They were printed in 1960s, and at the time, your mother or your parents were not yet born in 1960s, right? So, what we did is, uh, we look at this book, and then I said, this can still be used, and it's a waste if we are just going to sell them. So, what I did is, I okay, created this project, I chose this project, so that we can still, uh, we can still share this book. There's still a good book, and then... There are still good books, but then we are not, uh, we do not need it here because with the advent of internet and Google, we can always search what we want. So that's why I chose this project. How did the school and the children respond to the book world project? What are their reactions? Yeah, if you remember last December, I went out of the school. It was raining, right? I went to Kunano Elementary School and I met with the Sir John Irving Kisti and his uh, objective for this year is to, pre is to collect 500 books for this school year, 2014, 2000, 2015, 2016 rather. And then what, how many did we collect already? We collected 525, right? We collected 525. So he is very happy that the books were already, his objective were, were already uh, achieved. And for the, the children, actually when I went there, um, I saw some pictures of them reading of the books that you have given, the books that you have given, and uh, I can see that they are smiling a lot, and they are they are browsing the books that you are giving, and they are happy. That is how they receive your budget. Thank you, Mr. Sapak. Okay, I would like to take this opportunity also to uh, thank the parents for donating books for this project. Thank you so much. Sir. This is Anso Dicudara reporting for the Redmond Bulletin Show. For the first time in Remnant International College history, the elementary teachers launched the Scout Official for a four-day, otherwise known as SOFAD last November 2015. This is where the qualified scouts will take over the teacher and work as teachers. For one day, the scouts who took over are Ann Ginyang for preschool, Maria Isabel Galang for, for the grade 1, Budin Kyle Oloan for the grade 2, Roder Flynn Gatarin for the grade 4, Vincent H. Kapalar for the grade 5, Krishniv Craig Pauli for the grade 6, and Leanne PC for the grade 3, and as the elementary head teacher. During the post forum, the scouts relayed th their experience and what they learned and said they are looking forward to another SOFAD. SOFAD is a GSP and BSP activity where selected. Scouts are given the privilege to be an official for a, for a day. The selection may vary from exam to interview. It is conducted in school or citywide where scouts are given opportunities to become city official for, for the day. This activity is usually conducted in October, the scouting month. Playground rules has been made by Sir Clyde, the head teacher. Here is Raven for the report. Hello everyone, have you ever experienced playing in the playground and got hurt due to an unfortunate event or accident? Here are some playground rules to keep you safe and enjoy your playtime. Playground notes number one, include other in the games. Number two, use the equipment properly. Number three, slide down the sliding ramp feet first. Number four, do not climb on the sliding ramp. Number five, do not stand in the seesaw. Number six, Stay 10 step away from the scene. Number 7. Do not play tag or chase each other atop the scissor in the sliding platform. 8. Finish all your snap before playing. 
Number 9. Do not push or wrestle down your playmates. Number 10. Always consider the safety of your playmates before doing something. Playtime is an essential part of our growth and it is important that we follow these rules to keep ourselves and our friends happy and safe. For Ronan Bulletin Show, this is Reverend Jeff Quaresma reporting. National College Elementary Department has participated in the district meet. Here is Daryl for the report. Remnant International College actively participated during the Deaf Ed Athletic Meet, in the, particularly in the games of basketball, chess, and arnis. In the games of arnis during November and December, and in chess, Carl, Carl Salute and Terence De La Cruz participated and got three wins, but unfortunately, this was not enough for them to get qualified. Today we are now with the two chess players. Hello. Hi. Hello. What did you feel during the game? Well, happy, happy because because we met we need other friends. Yes. Okay. Why is the reason why you lost? Because because we didn't have have uh, much practice. Yes. For this day. Did you enjoy the game? Yes. Yes. And why? Because we need, we need other friends. Yes. In the basketball, the team had won its first match against Bakaking Elementary School, but was unable to push through the finals. So, nanalo kami sa unang laro ng basketball sa district meet sa kalaban namin ang Bakaking. So, doon kami nanalo Pero nung pangalawa at nung pangatlo, natalo kami. So ang plano namin ulit, siguro this week or next week, sali ulit kami sa tournament o kaya competition. In our inter interview with Mr. Clyde Sakta, he said that those activities were important for the elementary pupils. Here is why. We need to have activities that were bright the classroom um, activities and uh, will give you will give you a wider perspective of what's really happening outside your school um, if you have been to that game you have seen that there are some students who are better than you in playing basketball and what would that do it would uh, it would push you to study harder it would push you to train harder this is Donald Joshua Di Ocampo reporting for Edmund Bulletin. More on the sport news, RIC Elementary Department Champion in the Irish. Here is Isabel for the report. In the field of martial arts, a lot of students have been showing their talent and in the martial arts called armies. These students are none other than our very own Vansavik Chibero. Kendall very looking. With a swift movement and graceful stick, hand Hadley made them the champions in the district meet, making them capture six golds and have brought them to the second place during the city meet. I am here now with the Army's champions. Hello, how are you guys? And congratulations for being the champion. Thank you very much. Okay, here's the question. What is the feeling of someone who, who, 
at the school, not just in district but in division level. Actually, we are happy that we have represented our school. What did you do to attain that level of expertise? Mm, practice and practice until we Okay, next question. What is your message to those who want to follow your footsteps? Pra practice until you, you finish your... Um, do your best. Do your best. Um, I want them not to give up in our miss, but only be happy playing on you and our miss. Even though you lose, just try and try because our miss never gives up. Um, we want to thank you, Sir Murphy, as our coach and Miss Mary and you. Um, handa! Paganda! Okay, go. Thank you. For Remnant Sports Bulletin News, this is Isabel Villelis reporting. As a part of our Elementary Department, goal of creating a school network to help them in their mission of developing the pupils to their full potential. The department hosts um, Arnis tournament where UB and IIT and various school from Cordillera and Region 1 participated in the event happened last January 8 to 9 2016 according to Sir Murphy Takyo elementary department sport coordinator this activity is strengthening our connection with University of Baguio and other schools and he said our school have received a lot of improvement, especially in sports, due to this linkage. Have you ever wondered how the show was made? I don't know. How about you? I still don't know. So, for our infotainment news, let us look at behind the scene of the show. Here is Anne for the report. Have you ever wondered how our show was made? For our infotainment segment, I am going to interview our director and head teacher to show us how the show was made. I am also going to show you behind the scenes videos of the show. I am here now with Sir Clive to ask some questions about the show. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine too. Okay, what's your what, what is the reason you come up with this show? Um... One reason is that uh, I am the one who is layouting your newspaper, but uh, this uh, year I have a lot of activities uh, outside the school right now, so I don't have time to edit the newspaper. Actually, the newspaper, your articles are already in me, I, it was already given to me, I'm just going to layout it, but I really don't have time. Aside from that, uh, my computer is three years old, you know that already, right? My computer is three years, three years old and it's very, very, very slow if I'm going to use I'm using publishing editing and it's very very slow and I don't have time really to transfer it to Adobe Design. That's why I'm looking at your newspaper. I'm looking at your article and I saw that uh, this uh, this article article should be in waste if we are not going to publish it. So I thought of this medium of publishing this uh, these articles. Is this going to continue and replace the newspaper? Absolutely not. We are not going to replace the newspaper. Your newspaper will be printed and will be given to you soon. But this will be a this will be another project for you guys who are having subjects in uh, subjects in journalism, grade four, five, six. This will be your project. The same uh, coinciding with your paper. So if we, this is a success, I'm planning that you will be having you will be having maybe weekly episode of this show. How much is the budget for the show? Did the school provide it? Um, for the budget, um, there was no budget for this one actually because, uh, and of course, um, no, the school did not provide anything. This was all. Um, this was all made by 
you guys, the students, and there was no budget here uh, because we've been using our smartphone in filming. What equipment were used? Did you use high-def cameras? Um, the focus of this um, show or the, the main idea for the show is um, using smartphone. That's why we call it the pocket filmmaking or mobile filmmaking or a smartphone filmmaking. Why do we call it smartphone filmmaking? Uh, because we are going to use purely smartphones. Smartphone is powerful nowadays. Your cell phone has powerful cameras, has a powerful mic, so we will be using smartphones solely to make this program. We don't need actually budgets here. Uh, what we need here is your dedication and I can see that you are dedicated in, in making this program. So what we need here is 100% dedication in making the program what equipments did we use um, right now uh, we are using my camera and for the editing we are using my computer and uh, for the for your videos and this behind the scenes you're using your tablet mostly these are mostly these are these are um, smartphones and for our audio if you can see uh, we are using our uh, for the audio, we are using a monopod wherein we attach a microphone headset. And those are just the the equipments that we use for this program. And uh, it's very simple, it's very crude, but it is working. Thank you for answering my questions. Thank you so much. Hi, I am the same one. This is what I am to do. This is the same one.